Hi, how everybody? Stephen here from the Around Table. Welcome the, to the September 13th review. Um, and today we'll be talking about Metallica, the Black Album, their fifth studio album, which uh, came out in 1991. It's celebrating an anniversary release, and it's going to be put on multiple formats, box sets, vinyl sets, uh, streaming services, you name it, it'll be there. Um, there's also the Blacklist, which is basically a tribute album where there's going to be, I think, 53 tracks. And there'll be Miley Cyrus, Elton John, Yo-Yo Ma, Chad Smith, everybody's on it who was ever inspired by this album or was touched by this album or influenced by this album. So as you can see by Elton John to Yo-Yo Ma to Chad Smith to Miley Cyrus, the reach is huge on this album. Uh, the album, like I said, was released in 1991. These guys were big in the thrash metal scene, but broke down barriers and got to mainstream radio with the Black Album. I mean, it's a simple... It's, it's black. It's a black album cover. Um, nothing fancy. This looks, I think, like the, uh, the CD I originally got in 91. I bought the, simply the regular edition. So it just looks like the CD from 1991, basically. And there's the other part that holds the CD itself. Nothing major. It's about 12 bucks, depending where you go for it. Um, has all the songs remastered by Bob Ludwig, so it's going to be a good job. The guy has done remastering in every format for every major record label. He's done it for Paul McCartney, Jimi Hendrix, Zeppelin, Queen, uh, Brian Ferry, you name it. He's done it. So you know the sound, and I think it sounds great. I've been playing it on my stereo the last couple of days. I think it sounds very clear, very crystal clear, but it still doesn't take away from the the hard rock um, feel of it so it's still powerful in that sense but it sounds clearer the instrumentation the vocals I think sound a little clearer in my opinion uh, the album went on to sell over 30 million units um, what else the songs let's see the hits Enter Sandman San True, The Unforgiven Wherever I May Roam and Nothing Else Matters um, you know all those songs are staples on rock radio and for a reason they're part of their life sets till this day and for good reason, these are great songs, well-written songs, you know, Nothing Else Matters is really incredible, really written, um, you know, Sad But True, I think is great. Um, they're all good. I, you know, at the end, I'm not sure I liked My Friend of Misery and The Struggle Within. You know, it, is it is it a perfect album? No. But the songs that are really good are good. And I mean, like I said, they last the test of time. If anybody is going back into rock, you know, this was released in 91 while grunge was coming out, Nirvana was exploding, Pearl Jam was exploding. These guys came out with this and still knocked it out of the park and went on to, I mean, I think the album stayed on the charts for over 550 weeks total, uh, says, says volumes of the, of the strength of this record. Um, again, excellent remastering by Bob Ludwig. In my opinion, the hit singles alone are worth the purchase. If you don't have this album in your collection, there's something wrong with you. Um, needs to be in it. It's an essential. It's the album that broke the band into mainstream. Some fans may find it too commercial. Yeah, maybe. But you know what? If you want to get on commercial radio, you got to be commercial. So bottom line, they did what they had to do. They wanted to be bigger than they were. And it worked, and it worked in spades. They're still around to this day, and it's because of the strength of this album. You know, and they were allowed to play with their sound even further on load and reload, and y you name it. I mean, if it wasn't for the Black Album, they wouldn't be able to expand their palette and, and try different things. Um, so, in my opinion, it's worth picking up for the historical value. These guys are probably the last big shot of rock that we've had. Uh, a band that took a major chance with their sound and, and, and paid off in spades. There's never going to be another 35 or 30 million seller like this ever again. So for history, it's worth it. It's worth it alone for the history. And um, I think the songs hold up most of them anyways. Like I said, the last two don't really do it for me. Never have. But, you know... Um, you got 10 out of 12 that are pretty good and more than pretty good. They're, they're you know, probably the last classic songs, you know, that we're going to hear. Um, what else can I say about it? You know, it, it touched so many people. Like I said, the tribute album, I mean, you got Miley Cyrus, Yo-Yo Ma, Chad Smith, you name it. 
anybody, Weezer. I mean, it, it's touched everybody. This album was so huge. So if anybody doubts its greatness, just listen to all these people on that tribute album. You know, it's more than just the rock. It's just the, you know, forget about the rock title. A good album is a good album is a good album. This is it, you know. So is it worth picking up again? In my opinion, damn right, it is. I think it should be in your collection. If you like rock music, you need this in your collection. This this is this is my in my in my opinion, it's a must. The Metallica Black album, a must. Uh, I'm gonna give it uh, at least four out of five stars. Like I said, the whole album as a whole is not amazing. It does drop off in quality, in my opinion. But for the rest of the songs, it's great. The remastering is, I think, is phenomenal. It's on my, I played on my stereo and I think it sounds clearer than before. And uh, without removing the harshness and, and, and the badass playing that it is, nothing's been taken away. It just sounds a lot crystal clear. So in my opinion, again, four-star review on this sucker. Essential. Metallica, fifth studio release, The Black Album. Essential. This is Steven from The Around Table. Thank you for your support. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Let us know what you think. Tell us. Give, give me a listing of what you think are the strongest songs off this album. Tell me what you think of this one. Is it their best or did they sell out? Tell me. No. Let me know. Take care. And of course, live the dream.